well, that was a failure. <laughs> but I still think that it's useful. I think there's definitely lessons to be learned and I would definitely encourage people to try this experiment. It is eye-opening. The first thing that I realized first thing in the morning was that I forgot some of the chores that I would normally do first thing in the morning. Starting off real strong, Leafy. In general, across the entire day, none of the foods that I had written down for my ideal day were actually completely available in my fridge. That's on me, I should have planned better, but this was kind of a last minute experiment. Fortunately though, even with these mishaps, I was 10 minutes early for this first portion to be done. So I decided to drive to the beach early and it's a good thing that I did because it actually took 20 minutes longer than I thought it was gonna take. And here's the biggest lesson that I learned with all of this. I got to the beach, sat down on the beach, watched the surfers. I wasn't actually planning on surfing because I don't have any of the equipment, but as I sat there and watched all the surfers out on these huge gray waves, I was not at all envious of them. I did not want to be out there with them. I like the idea of surfing, but I guess I would rather have it be an occasional once a week thing rather than an everyday thing. It was definitely fun to be out of my apartment bright and early. I liked that I was surrounded by nature. I was able to look at the ocean. So I would like to keep those aspects still in my everyday life but actually going out there and surfing every day is not anything that I aspire to do anymore. Plus, driving there felt like a commute, a morning commute. So my idea now to replace what I thought would be ideal in the morning is that I would still wanna get out of the house, I would still want nature in the morning, and I could still listen to KEXP, but the change would be that I would walk to a local gym somewhere in a 20 minute radius of where I live and spend time just weightlifting at the gym. It'd be even better if there was some kind of class that I could take at that time because then there'd be a sense of community and there'd be that social aspect that you would get if you were surfing. So in general, already off the bat, I already knew no to driving, no to surfing, Yes to locality and community. Yes to getting out of the house in the morning. Uh, I like walking. I still want to listen to that radio station. Which, by the way, they have an app, so I'm, I'm listening to it on my phone. By the time I got back to my apartment, I was already an hour late, an hour off of where I thought I would be in the schedule that I came up with in my imaginary dream world. <laughs> So in order to try to feel like I was making up the time, I sped through all of my rest of my morning activities. And I don't like rushing through all of that stuff. I feel like I want to take my time with it. I started working as usual and ate more food at some point. I did love not spending a lot of time cooking. I'm just not a big fan of cooking. I also went for a gorgeous walk in the afternoon and I don't always get to this, but whenever I do get out for a walk, I'm so much happier. I just love looking at all of the plants. There's so many cool plants around here. And I could see incorporating other things in that walk. So if I want to meet up with somebody for a coffee or if I want to spend some time doing some life drawings at the park or one of the touristy places, I think that would be a good thing to stick in the middle of that walk. So for the three questions that I had prior to this experiment, this is what I thought was going to be my ideal day. And then this is what it turned out to be with all of the changes. Now, of course, the new version has not been vetted yet. So I think it would be fun to try this new version out maybe in a couple of months, maybe we'll wait till January. And I'll, in the meantime, check out some local gyms, see if I can find one that I like, and probably I should go grocery shopping. The second question was, is this ideal day achievable actually physically in terms of time? And the answer is no. <laughs> the third question was, do I feel any differently afterwards? And the answer is, yeah. I think I do. This really helped me to distinguish what it is that I actually want versus what it is that I thought that I wanted. If you're interested in trying this, I would say don't just do the first part. Don't just try to come up with your ideal day, but actually go through the motions of it and see if there's some differentiation between what you think you're interested in and what you actually want to do with your time. Try it out, put it to the test, and either you're going to make your dreams into reality, which would be awesome, or you're going to disprove that ideal and it'll make room then 
for you to come up with what the next ideal is. Eventually, you might be able to find something that's actually achievable. That's it for now. Till next time.